Hey everyone, I hope everyone's doing well tonight. It is March the 9th, we're partway through March. And uh, before you know it, hopefully more and more vaccines will be out there and we'll all be back to some semblance of normal. Uh, tonight I wanted to hop on and just uh, give a little feedback or, or some thoughts that I've been having uh, about the rehiring process and people's jobs and titles and, and things of that nature. And where this came from is I was... Uh, I was browsing some stuff the other day and I came across uh, a post that really made me pause for a moment. And the reason it made me pause is um, I, I read a posting a few weeks ago by a gentleman by the name of Raheem Printer, um, the director of HR for the, um, <clears throat> what was the Thompson Hotel, but it was now the One Hotel. And it was more or less, you know, how titles don't define the character, don't define the person. It's, it's what you do, but it's not who you are. Um, and, you know, I agree with him on, on, on a lot of that post and, and some, things, some things I agree with and some things I don't, but the, the, the gist of the messaging I definitely agree with. But what I came across is I was thinking, you know, I'm seeing more and more people starting to hire, which is a great thing, getting people back to work. But this, this post um, was from someone who is in the industry and has been in the industry for a while and... and Someone who I thought would know better, but it was it was a post um, claiming that how he had made it now because his name had made it to a website of his establishment that he was listed on the website of the establishment. So after all the years of struggle and this and that and the other, well, I must have made it because I've made it to the website. And I just thought for all the the young people coming through the industry, that can't be the message. The the message can't be you're validated by your job because you are listed onto a website. I mean, what does that say for all the people that aren't on a website? Um, you know, to me, when I'm, when I'm hiring someone, I'm not doing a Google search to make sure that they're showed up on the website of, of a restaurant or a hotel. I wanna ask the poignant questions of, can they run my business? If it's in beverage, can they run my beverage program? If I'm asking them to tell me what their churn ratio is, or what their strategy is for, uh, you know, for accomplishing a, a three-point turn in a month on inventory, how do they plan on doing that? If I'm asking them that I need a 29% beverage cost versus a 33, what's the strategy for doing that? None of that comes from being on a website. Um, it comes from understanding the job and doing the job. And this person does know the job really well. And I'm not trying to take that away, away from the individual. But when I see things like that, what it says to me is, you lack in your own confidence, and you're looking for, you're looking for, love and adulation from your peers versus just letting the job speak for itself. Um, so you know, just be careful of, with how you're presenting yourself uh, when you're out there looking for jobs. Let's say for me, I'm looking for skill, and, and because this individual is on a website for their X Y Z job doesn't mean they're actually in this case like I say this person is great but it doesn't mean you're actually great it just means you've got the job you you went through the interview process and you're the best person for the job now you have to show that you can do the job because if you can't do the job you're gonna come off the website and someone else's name is gonna be on there and then what do you say well I'm well, I'm off a website I guess I'm not that good at my job no it's don't worry about those kind of things guys worry about honing your skill knowing your craft you know, taking care of the business for your owner or for the GM who's taking care of it for the owner, taking care of your guests. And, and the other stuff, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, if you think people care about you uh, because you've made it to a website or your name is on a menu, like those aren't the people you want to be around. I can tell you that right now because they're not going to be the ones that are going to be holding your bags when you're in time of need. Uh, they'll be the ones trying to take your job. So focus on what's important. Um, because there's a lot more people like me out there that are looking to hire people, and it's that kind of stuff that turns me off. Uh, I don't, I don't need to to read the "look how great I am" uh, resume. I need to read the "show me what you can do" resume. Tell me in an interview what you can do, and then perform it. And then, because if you can't, you're not on my website. And chances are you're not on my website anyways, because I want to promote my business and my restaurant and my food, I don't want to promote the individuals. The individuals will be promoted by the service that they give and the, 
the adulation and the credit they deserve from the guests who keep coming back asking for said individuals. Um, I think, you know, we've gotten into this phase now where we all want to wear a giant billboard to tell people how great we are. And that's not going to get us out of this mess. It's going to be hard work, dedication, knowing how to run a business. And if you don't know how to do that, your name on a website, your name on a menu doesn't mean the piece of paper or the computer screen that it's written on. Uh, and you can take that to the bank. So focus on what's important. Focus on your job. Don't worry about the other stuff. And don't worry about letting other people kind of go, well, congratulations, you're on a website. You must be fantastic. You might be, but that's not what's important. All right. Take care, guys. Have a great night, and we will talk soon.